35 Sexiest James Bond Girls You'd Never Recognize Today Welcome to the Famous People Channel. Today, we're diving into the captivating world of James Bond and exploring the lives of some of the most iconic Bond girls. From their unforgettable performances to their fascinating journeys beyond the 007 series, join us as we uncover the stories behind these talented actresses. Discover how they brought depth and allure to their roles, leaving a lasting legacy in the world of cinema. Stay tuned for an exciting look at their careers and personal lives. Ursula Andress Ursula Andress, born on March 19, 1936 in Ostermundigen, Switzerland, is a timeless actress and a defining beauty icon of the 1960s. She is best known for her role as Honey Rider in the first James Bond film, Dr. No, 1962. The unforgettable scene where she emerges from the sea in a white bikini to meet James Bond has become one of the most iconic moments in cinema history, cementing her status as a top sex symbol of her era. Beyond Dr. No, Ursula Andress appeared in several other films, including Casino Royale, 1967, The Man with the Golden Gun, Clash of the Titans, and Never Say Never Again. Each role, whether leading or supporting, showcased her undeniable screen presence and captivating beauty. However, her contributions extended far beyond the silver screen. Andres was deeply involved in humanitarian and environmental efforts, serving as a goodwill ambassador for the World Health Organization and an honorary ambassador for the United Nations Children's Fund. With her stunning looks and diverse talents, Ursula Andress has left an indelible mark on the film industry and popular culture. Now at 88 years old, she remains one of the most beloved Bond girls, a testament to the lasting impact of her charm and talent. Her legacy continues to inspire and captivate audiences around the world. If you find this video not interesting enough, hit the like button to save it and watch it later. Martine Beswick Martine Beswick, born on September 26, 1941, in Port Antonio, Jamaica, is a renowned actress celebrated for her roles in the James Bond series. She gained fame with her portrayal of Paula Kaplan in From Russia with Love, 1963, and subsequently as Bond Girl in Thunderball, 1965. Beswick's striking appearance and memorable performances have solidified her place in the legacy of Bond girls. In From Russia with Love, Beswick captivated audiences with her dynamic presence, particularly in the scene where she dons a vibrant red two-piece swimsuit. Her role in Thunderball further showcased her versatility and magnetism, making her an unforgettable part of the franchise. Outside of her Bond roles, Beswick's career included appearances in other notable films and television series, where she continued to demonstrate her acting prowess. Beyond her screen achievements, Martine Beswick dedicated herself to charitable causes and wildlife conservation. In 2006, she founded the Beswick How Wish Fund, aimed at supporting children with disabilities. Additionally, she actively campaigned against wildlife poaching, reflecting her commitment to making a positive impact on the world. At 82 years old, Martine Beswick remains a cherished figure in cinema history. Her contributions to the Bond series and her humanitarian efforts highlight a life of remarkable achievements and enduring influence. Eunice Gason Eunice Gason, born on March 17, 1928, in London, England, holds a special place in cinematic history as the first-ever Bond girl. She is best known for her role as Sylvia Trench in Dr. No, 1962, and its sequel, From Russia with Love, 1963. Gason's portrayal of Sylvia Trench, the sophisticated and alluring woman who introduces herself to Bond in the iconic casino scene, set the standard for future Bond girls. Her memorable scene at the card table, wearing a sultry high-slit red dress, remains etched in the memories of James Bond fans. Outside of her Bond appearances, Gayson enjoyed a successful career in British television and stage productions. She took on various roles, including the lead in the acclaimed play The Rehearsal by Eleanor Fison. 
Her acting versatility and commanding presence made her a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Beyond her professional achievements, Gayson was deeply committed to charitable causes. In 1988, she established the Eunice Gayson Fund to support struggling artists, reflecting her compassion and dedication to the arts community. Eunice Gayson passed away on June 8, 2018, at the age of 90. Her legacy as the original Bond girl and her contributions to theater and television ensure that she will be remembered fondly by fans and colleagues alike. Nadia Regan Nadia Regan, born on December 2, 1931, in Serbia, is fondly remembered for her captivating performances in the James Bond films From Russia With Love, 1963, and Goldfinger, 1964. In From Russia With Love, Regan portrayed Karim Bey's mistress, exuding a seductive charm that captivated audiences. Her performance in Goldfinger further showcased her versatility, solidifying her reputation as a talented actress within the Bond franchise. Beyond her roles in James Bond films, Nadja Regan appeared in numerous other productions, such as The Saint and The Avengers. Her career in the entertainment industry extended to behind-the-scenes work as well, where she made significant contributions as a television editor in the UK. Regan's dedication to her craft and her ability to transition seamlessly between acting and editing demonstrated her multifaceted talents. In her personal life, Regan valued privacy and cherished her family life with her husband, Michael Balfour, and their two children. She balanced her career with a fulfilling personal life, which included a passion for literature and the arts. Nadja Regan passed away on April 7, 2019, at the age of 87, leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances and contributions to both film and television. Claudine Auger Claudine Auger, born on April 26, 1941, in Paris, France, is best known for her role as Domino Derval in the James Bond film Thunderball, 1965. As Domino, Auger brought a blend of classic French beauty and undeniable charm to the screen, making her one of the most memorable Bond girls. Her striking presence, particularly in the scenes where she elegantly swims alongside Bond, left a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. Before her breakthrough role in Thunderball, Auger had already made a name for herself as a model and actress in France. Her role as Domino, however, catapulted her to international fame, showcasing her acting prowess and captivating screen presence. Despite the global recognition she gained from Thunderball, Auger remained grounded and continued to pursue a variety of roles in both French and British cinema. Films like Triple Cross, 1966, and The Killing Game, 1967, further demonstrated her versatility as an actress. Claudine Auger passed away in December 2019 at the age of 78. Her legacy as Domino Derval remains an enduring symbol of the glamour and sophistication that characterized the Bond girls of the 1960s, and her contributions to cinema continue to be celebrated by fans and critics alike. Luciana Paluzzi Luciana Paluzzi, born on June 10, 1937, in Rome, Italy, gained fame for her role as the fiery and seductive Fiona Volpe in the James Bond film Thunderball, 1965. As Fiona Volpe, Paluzzi portrayed a dangerous and alluring antagonist, captivating audiences with her fiery red hair and striking looks. Her performance, particularly the scenes where she exudes deadly charm while driving a convertible sports car, is remembered as one of the standout roles in the Bond series. Prior to her iconic role in Thunderball, Paluzzi had already established a successful acting career in Italy and Hollywood. She appeared in numerous films such as The Green Slime and 99 Women, showcasing her range and versatility as an actress. Despite often playing the femme fatale, Paluzzi brought depth and nuance to her characters, making her performances memorable and impactful. Luciana Paluzzi eventually shifted her focus from acting to film production, where she continued to contribute to the industry.
She was married twice and had a son, balancing her professional achievements with a fulfilling personal life. Luciana Paluzzi passed away on June 10, 2022, on her 85th birthday. Her legacy as one of the most captivating and memorable Bond antagonists endures, marking her place in the annals of film history. Daniela Bianchi Daniela Bianchi, born on January 31, 1942, in Rome, Italy, is best known for her role as Tatiana Romanova in the James Bond film From Russia with Love, 1963. Her portrayal of the beautiful and enigmatic Soviet consulate clerk captivated audiences and solidified her status as a classic Bond girl. With her shimmering blonde hair, striking azure eyes, and timeless elegance, Bianchi's performance added depth and allure to the film, creating one of the most memorable female characters in the series. Before her iconic role in From Russia with Love, Daniela Bianchi had a successful career as a model, being crowned Miss Rome and finishing as the first runner-up in the Miss Universe pageant in 1960. Despite her success in the Bond franchise, Bianchi chose to step away from the limelight, appearing only in a few Italian films before retiring from acting. She married a wealthy shipping magnate and led a private, fulfilling life away from the public eye. Now, 82 years old, Daniela Bianchi's brief but impactful career in Hollywood remains a testament to her talent and beauty. Her portrayal of Tatiana Romanova continues to be celebrated by Bond enthusiasts and film historians, preserving her legacy as a quintessential Bond girl. Zena Marshall Zena Marshall, born on January 1, 1922 in Nairobi, Kenya, is remembered for her role as Miss Taro in the first James Bond film, Dr. No, 1962. Her character, an alluring and duplicitous secretary working for the villainous Dr. No, added an element of intrigue and danger to the film. With her exotic looks and sultry presence, Marshall's performance as Miss Taro remains one of the standout moments in the early Bond series. Marshall's acting career spanned several decades, beginning in the 1940s with roles in British films and television productions. She was known for her versatility, seamlessly transitioning between genres and roles. In addition to her work in Dr. No, she appeared in numerous other films and television shows, including The Terror of the Tongs, 1961, and The Lost People, 1949, showcasing her wide-ranging talent. After retiring from acting, Zena Marshall transitioned to a quieter life, focusing on her business ventures. She spent her later years away from the public eye, passing away in 2009 at the age of 87. Despite her brief role in the Bond series, Marshall's contribution to the franchise left a lasting impact, and she is fondly remembered by fans for her captivating performance as Miss Taro. Jill St. John Jill St. John, born on August 19, 1940, in Los Angeles, California, is best known for her role as Tiffany Case in the James Bond film Diamonds Are Forever, 1971. As Tiffany Case, St. John brought a unique blend of wit, charm, and glamour to the screen, making her one of the most memorable Bond girls of the 1970s. Her portrayal of the resourceful and spirited character, particularly in scenes where she matches wits with Sean Connery's James Bond, remains a highlight of the film. Before her role in Diamonds Are Forever, Jill St. John had already established herself as a talented actress in Hollywood, appearing in numerous films and television shows. Her performances in Come Blow Your Horn, 1963, and The Lost World, 1960, showcased her versatility and appeal. Beyond her acting career, St. John is also known for her intelligence and entrepreneurial spirit, having authored several cookbooks and developed a successful career as a chef. In her personal life, Jill St. John married actor Robert Wagner, and the couple remains one of Hollywood's enduring pairs. At 83 years old, St. John continues to be celebrated for her contributions to cinema and her role as Tiffany Case, a character who remains a beloved part of the James Bond legacy. Honor Blackman Honor Blackman, 
born on August 22, 1925, in London, England, is one of the most iconic Bond girls, renowned for her role as Pussy Galore in the James Bond film Goldfinger, 1964. Her portrayal of the tough, independent, and alluring aviator Pussy Galore set a new standard for female characters in the Bond series. With her striking blonde hair, piercing blue eyes, and commanding screen presence, Blackman brought depth and sophistication to the role, creating a character that has endured in popular culture. Prior to her role in Goldfinger, Honor Blackman had already gained fame for her role as Kathy Gale in the British television series The Avengers, where she showcased her martial arts skills and strong screen persona. Her transition to the Bond series further solidified her status as a powerful and influential actress. Blackman's career spanned several decades, with notable performances in films such as Shalako, 1968, and The Secret of My Success, 1965, as well as continued work in television and theater. Honor Blackman passed away in 2020 at the age of 94, leaving behind a legacy of groundbreaking performances and a lasting impact on the film industry. Her role as Pussy Galore remains one of the most iconic and celebrated characters in the James Bond franchise, symbolizing strength, elegance, and intelligence. Barbara Boucher Barbara Boucher, born on August 15, 1943, in Reichenberg, Czechoslovakia, now Liberec, Czech Republic, is renowned for her role as Miss Moneypenny in the James Bond spoof film Casino Royale, 1967. With her captivating beauty and sophisticated charm, Boucher brought a unique allure to the character, making her a memorable figure in the Bond legacy. Her portrayal of Miss Moneypenny, though in a parody film, highlighted her ability to blend wit and elegance seamlessly. Before and after her Bond role, Barbara Boucher enjoyed a prolific career in both European and American cinema. She appeared in numerous films and television shows, showcasing her versatility as an actress. Notable works include Sweet Charity, 1969, Gangs of New York, 1973, and Amok, 1972. Her roles often emphasized her stunning looks and acting talent, allowing her to maintain a strong presence in the entertainment industry. In addition to her acting career, Boucher has also made significant contributions as a fitness expert, authoring several fitness books and videos. Now 80 years old, Barbara Boucher remains an iconic figure, celebrated for her diverse contributions to film and television and her enduring charm that continues to captivate audiences. Lana Wood Lana Wood, born on March 1, 1946 in Santa Monica, California, is best known for her role as Plenty O'Toole in the James Bond film Diamonds Are Forever, 1971. As Plenty O'Toole, Wood brought a vibrant and seductive energy to the screen, capturing audiences with her sparkling personality and stunning appearance. Her performance, particularly in the scenes where she interacts with Sean Connery's James Bond, left a lasting impression on fans of the series. Prior to her Bond role, Lana Wood had already established herself as a talented actress, notably appearing in the classic television series Peyton Place, 1966-1969. Her role as Sandy Weber showcased her ability to portray complex characters with depth and nuance. In addition to her television work, Wood appeared in several films, including The Girls on the Beach, 1965, and The Searchers, 1956, where she acted alongside her famous sister, Natalie Wood. Despite facing personal and professional challenges, Lana Wood continued to work in the industry, taking on various roles in film and television. Today, 77 years old, she lives a private life in California. Her portrayal of Plenty O'Toole remains a cherished part of the James Bond franchise, symbolizing the glamour and excitement that Bond girls bring to the series. Diana Rigg Diana Rigg, born on July 20, 1938, in Doncaster, England, is best remembered for her role as Tracy DiVincenzo in the James Bond film On Her Majesty's Secret Service, 1969. As Tracy, 
Rig portrayed a complex and compelling character, the only woman to marry James Bond. Her performance combined strength, elegance, and emotional depth, making her one of the most beloved Bond girls. Rig's portrayal was marked by her ability to convey both vulnerability and resilience, creating a lasting impact on the franchise. Before her iconic Bond role, Diana Rigg was already a celebrated actress, known for her role as Emma Peel in the British television series The Avengers. Her portrayal of Peel, a smart, stylish, and fiercely independent secret agent, made her a cultural icon and demonstrated her versatility and charisma. Rigg's acting career spanned decades, with notable performances in both theater and film. She garnered critical acclaim for her work in productions such as Medea and Mother Love, winning numerous awards including a Tony and an Emmy. Diana Rigg passed away in 2020 at the age of 82. Her legacy as both Tracy DiVincenzo and Emma Peel remains influential, and her contributions to the arts have left an indelible mark on the industry. Rigg is remembered for her remarkable talent, grace, and the trailblazing roles she brought to life. Congratulations on completing Wonder 3 of this exploration journey. If you enjoyed this video, please comment 1, otherwise comment 0. We will use this feedback to evaluate and improve our content. Thank you. Margaret Nolan Margaret Nolan, born on October 29, 1943, in Norton Radstock, England, is best known for her role as Dink in the James Bond film Goldfinger, 1964. Her brief but memorable appearance in the film, where she playfully interacts with Sean Connery's James Bond, showcased her charm and screen presence. Additionally, Nolan's image was famously used in the film's opening credits and promotional materials, where she was painted gold, becoming an iconic visual associated with the film. Nolan's career extended beyond her Bond role, encompassing a wide range of film and television appearances. She appeared in British comedies such as Carry On Films and had roles in television series like The Saint and Steptoe and Son. Her versatility as an actress allowed her to move seamlessly between comedic and dramatic roles, earning her recognition in the industry. Besides acting, Nolan was also a talented visual artist and author, contributing to the arts in multiple forms. Margaret Nolan passed away in October 2020 at the age of 76. Her legacy as an iconic Bond girl and her broader contributions to film and television continue to be celebrated. Nolan is remembered not only for her striking appearances and performances, but also for her creative spirit and artistic endeavors. Shirley Eaton Shirley Eaton, born on January 12, 1937, in London, England, is best known for her iconic role as Jill Masterson in the James Bond film Goldfinger, 1964. Eaton's character became legendary with the unforgettable scene where she is painted entirely in gold and found dead on a bed, a striking visual that has become synonymous with the film itself. Despite her brief screen time, Eaton's performance and the gold-painted image left an indelible mark on the Bond franchise and popular culture. Before her famous role in Goldfinger, Shirley Eaton had already established herself as a talented actress and singer in British cinema and television. She appeared in numerous films, including comedies such as Carry On Sergeant, 1958, and dramas like Ten Little Indians, 1965. Her versatility and charisma made her a popular figure in the entertainment industry. Eaton's career spanned various genres, showcasing her ability to captivate audiences with her charm and talent. In the mid-1960s, Shirley Eaton decided to step away from acting to focus on her family. She later became an author, writing about her experiences in the film industry and her life beyond the screen. Currently 87 years old, Eaton remains a beloved figure, remembered for her iconic Bond role and her contributions to British cinema. Her legacy continues to shine, much like the golden image that made her famous. Karen Dorr 
Karen Dorr, born on February 22, 1938, in Wiesbaden, Germany, is renowned for her role as Helga Brandt in the James Bond film You Only Live Twice, 1967. As the treacherous Spectre operative, Dorr's character exuded a seductive danger, making her a memorable Bond villainess. Her performance, particularly in the scenes where she attempts to seduce and then kill James Bond, showcased her ability to blend allure with menace, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Before her role in the Bond series, Karin Dorr was a prominent actress in German cinema, known for her work in Edgar Wallace thrillers and Carl May westerns. Her filmography includes notable titles such as The Face of Fu Manchu, 1965, and The Invisible Dr. Mabuse, 1962. Dorr's versatility as an actress allowed her to navigate different genres, from horror to adventure, demonstrating her wide-ranging talent. After her appearance in You Only Live Twice, Doctor continued to act in both European and American films, including Alfred Hitchcock's Topaz, 1969. Her career spanned several decades, during which she remained a beloved figure in the industry. Karen Dorr passed away on November 6, 2017, at the age of 79. Her legacy as Helga Brandt and her extensive body of work in international cinema continue to be celebrated by fans and critics alike. Catherine Schell Catherine Schell, born on July 17, 1944, in Budapest, Hungary, is widely recognized for her role as Nancy in the James Bond film On Her Majesty's Secret Service, 1969. As Nancy, Schell brought an air of sophistication and mystery to the screen, contributing to the film's allure with her captivating performance. Her elegant presence and striking beauty made her a memorable part of the Bond franchise, even though her role was brief. Before her appearance in the Bond series, Shell had already begun to establish herself in European cinema. She gained wider recognition with her role in the science fiction series Space 1999, 1975, 1977, where she played the shape-shifting Maya. This role showcased her versatility and ability to adapt to different genres. Shell also appeared in notable films such as The Return of the Pink Panther, 1975, and Moon Zero Two, 1969, further demonstrating her range as an actress. In addition to her acting career, Catherine Shell ventured into behind-the-scenes work, becoming a producer and continuing to contribute to the entertainment industry. Presently 80 years old, Shell lives a quieter life, yet her contributions to film and television continue to be celebrated. Her role as Nancy in the Bond series and her diverse body of work have left a lasting legacy in the world of cinema. Dahlia Lavi Dahlia Lavi, born on October 12, 1942, in Shavay Zion, Israel, is best known for her role as The Detainer in the James Bond parody film Casino Royale, 1967. In this comedic take on the Bond series, Lavi's portrayal of The Detainer, a beautiful and intelligent Israeli agent, added a unique blend of charm and wit. Her performance stood out in the film, highlighting her ability to seamlessly transition between drama and comedy. Lavi's career began in European cinema, where she quickly made a name for herself with her striking looks and captivating screen presence. She appeared in a variety of films, including The Silencers, 1966, and Some Girls Do, 1969, showcasing her versatility as an actress. Lavi's work spanned multiple genres, from spy thrillers to romantic dramas, allowing her to demonstrate a wide range of acting skills. After achieving success in the film industry, Dalia Lavi also pursued a career in music, becoming a popular singer in Germany. She released several albums and enjoyed considerable success in the European music scene. Dalia Lavi passed away on May 3, 2017, at the age of 74. Her legacy as both an actress and a singer continues to be remembered, and her contributions to the arts have left an enduring impact. Jacqueline Bisset Jacqueline Bisset, 
born on September 13, 1944, in Weybridge, England, is best known for her role as Domino Patachi in the James Bond film Never Say Never Again, 1983. In this unofficial Bond film, Bisset brought a refined elegance and strong screen presence to the role of Domino, a character who combined vulnerability with determination. Her performance added depth to the film and cemented her status as one of the most memorable Bond girls. Before her Bond role, Bisset had already established herself as a talented actress in Hollywood. She gained early recognition for her roles in Bullet, 1968, opposite Steve McQueen, and The Detective, 1968, alongside Frank Sinatra. Her career continued to flourish with standout performances in films like The Deep, 1977, and Class, 1983, demonstrating her versatility across various genres. Bisset's acting prowess and striking beauty made her a sought-after actress in both American and European cinema. Throughout her career, Jacqueline Bisset received numerous accolades, including a Golden Globe Award for her role in the television series Dancing on the Edge, 2013. Now 79 years old, Bisset remains active in the industry, continuing to take on diverse and challenging roles. Her legacy as Domino Petacci, along with her extensive body of work, solidifies her place as a beloved and enduring figure in film history. Britt Eklund Britt Eklund, born on October 6, 1942, in Stockholm, Sweden, is best known for her role as Mary Goodnight in the James Bond film The Man with the Golden Gun, 1974. As Mary Goodnight, Eklund portrayed a somewhat clumsy yet endearing MI6 agent who becomes entangled in Bond's mission. Her performance, marked by a blend of charm and humor, added a distinctive touch to the film and made her one of the memorable Bond girls of the 1970s. Before joining the Bond franchise, Eklund had already made a name for herself as an international film star. She gained significant attention with her role in The Night They Raided Minsky's 1968, and further showcased her acting skills in Get Carter, 1971, opposite Michael Caine. Eklund's natural beauty and screen presence made her a popular figure in the entertainment industry, often cast in roles that highlighted her versatility and appeal. In addition to her film career, Britt Eklund has been active in television and stage productions. She has also been involved in various charitable activities, using her fame to support numerous causes. Presently 81 years old, Eklund continues to be celebrated for her contributions to cinema and her iconic role as Mary Goodnight. Her enduring appeal and dynamic performances have left a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. Mihama Mihama, born on November 20, 1943, in Tokyo, Japan, is best known for her role as Kissy Suzuki in the James Bond film You Only Live Twice, 1967. In the film, Hama portrayed a Japanese secret agent who marries James Bond as part of an undercover operation. Her delicate beauty and strong screen presence added depth to the character, making Kissy Suzuki a memorable Bond girl. Hama's performance, particularly in the scene set against the picturesque backdrop of Japan, contributed significantly to the film's exotic and adventurous feel. Before her Bond role, Mi Hama was a well-known actress in Japanese cinema, having appeared in numerous films such as King Kong vs. Godzilla, 1962, and The Lost World of Sinbad, 1963. Her success in these roles showcased her versatility and helped her gain international recognition. Despite her initial reluctance to take on the role of Kissy Suzuki due to language barriers, Hama's portrayal became one of the highlights of her career. After her time as a Bond girl, Mia Hama transitioned from acting to a successful career in Japanese television and publishing. She became an advocate for cultural and environmental causes, reflecting her deep commitment to her heritage and the world around her. Today, 80 years old, Hama remains a respected figure in the entertainment industry, remembered fondly for her contributions to both Japanese and international cinema.
Tanya Mallet. Tanya Mallet, born on May 19, 1941, in Blackpool, England, is best remembered for her role as Tilly Masterson in the James Bond film Goldfinger, 1964. In Goldfinger, Mallet portrayed a determined and vengeful character seeking to avenge her sister's death. Her striking looks and intense performance made Tilly Masterson a compelling and memorable part of the Bond saga. Mallet's portrayal, marked by her elegance and resolve, added a significant emotional layer to the film. Before her role in Goldfinger, Tanya Mallet was a successful model, renowned for her work in high fashion and as a cover girl for major magazines. Her transition from modeling to acting was met with enthusiasm, and her performance in the Bond film demonstrated her capability to captivate audiences beyond the runway. Despite her success in Goldfinger, Mallet chose to return to modeling, finding it more suitable to her lifestyle and preferences. Tanya Mallet passed away on March 30, 2019, at the age of 77. Her decision to prioritize her personal happiness over Hollywood fame is a testament to her individuality and strength. Mallet's brief but impactful acting career, coupled with her success in modeling, left a lasting legacy. She is fondly remembered by Bond fans and the fashion world alike for her grace, beauty, and memorable contribution to one of the most iconic film franchises in history. Molly Peters Molly Peters, born on March 15, 1942, in Walsham Le Willows, England, is best known for her role as Patricia Fearing in the James Bond film Thunderball, 1965. As Patricia Fearing, a nurse at the health clinic where James Bond undergoes treatment, Peters brought a mix of warmth and sensuality to the screen. Her memorable scenes with Sean Connery, including the infamous steam room sequence, highlighted her chemistry with the leading man and added an element of seduction to the film. Before her role in Thunderball, Molly Peters had a successful career as a model, which paved the way for her entry into acting. Her natural beauty and charm caught the attention of casting directors, leading to her casting in the Bond film. Although her acting career was relatively brief, her performance in Thunderball left a lasting impression on audiences and solidified her place in Bond lore. Molly Peters withdrew from the entertainment industry after her Bond role, choosing to lead a more private life. She passed away on May 30, 2017, at the age of 75. Despite her short stint in Hollywood, Peters is remembered fondly by Bond fans for her role as Patricia Fearing, which remains a classic example of the allure and elegance that Bond girls bring to the franchise. Angela Schooler Angela Schooler, born on November 8, 1945, in London, England, is known for her roles in two James Bond films. She first appeared as Ruby Bartlett in On Her Majesty's Secret Service, 1969, where she portrayed a charming and somewhat naive young woman who catches the eye of James Bond. Her lively performance added a touch of innocence and humor to the film, making her a memorable Bond girl. Schooler's second Bond-related role was in the unofficial parody film Casino Royale, 1967, where she played Buttercup, adding a comedic twist to her Bond girl persona. Beyond her Bond roles, Angela Schooler had a prolific acting career, appearing in numerous British television series and films. Her versatility as an actress allowed her to transition smoothly between comedy and drama, earning her acclaim in both genres. Despite her successful career, Angela Schooler faced personal challenges, including battles with depression and alcoholism. She passed away on April 11, 2011, at the age of 65. Schooler's contributions to the Bond franchise and her broader work in film and television continue to be celebrated. Her ability to bring depth and personality to her characters has left a lasting impact on audiences and the entertainment industry. Jane Seymour Jane Seymour, born on February 15, 1951 in Hayes, England, is celebrated for her role as solitaire in the James Bond film Live and Let Die, 
1973. As Solitaire, a psychic medium entangled in a web of danger and deception, Seymour brought an ethereal beauty and captivating presence to the screen. Her performance, marked by vulnerability and strength, made her one of the most memorable Bond girls of the 1970s. Before her breakout role in the Bond franchise, Seymour had already begun to make a name for herself in British cinema. Her career took off after Live and Let Die, leading to significant roles in films such as Somewhere in Time, 1980, and East of Eden, 1981. Seymour is also widely recognized for her long-running role as Dr. Michaela Quinn in the television series Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman, 1993-1998 which earned her a Golden Globe Award and solidified her status as a versatile and beloved actress. In addition to her acting career, Jane Seymour has written several books and is known for her philanthropic efforts, particularly in the fields of health and children's welfare. At 73 years old, she continues to be active in the entertainment industry, showcasing her talent and elegance in various projects. Her legacy as solitaire and her extensive body of work ensure that she remains an enduring figure in Hollywood. Madeline Smith Madeline Smith, born on August 2, 1949, in Hartfield, England, is best known for her role as Miss Caruso in the James Bond film Live and Let Die, 1973. As Miss Caruso, an Italian secret agent and Bond's lover, Smith brought a playful and alluring charm to the screen. Her memorable scenes with Roger Moore, especially the humorous wardrobe mishap, added a lighthearted and captivating element to the film. Prior to her Bond appearance, Smith had established herself as a talented actress in British cinema and television. She became a familiar face in the Hammer Horror films, starring in titles such as The Vampire Lovers, 1970, and Taste the Blood of Dracula, 1970. Her ability to balance roles in horror, comedy, and drama showcased her versatility and made her a sought-after actress in the 1970s. After her role in Live and Let Die, Madeline Smith continued to work in film and television, appearing in series like Doctor at Large and The Two Ronnies. Her career also extended to the stage, where she performed in various theatrical productions. Currently 75 years old, Smith leads a more private life, but remains a beloved figure for her contributions to film and television. Her role as Miss Caruso, coupled with her diverse acting career, ensures her lasting legacy in the entertainment world. Tsai Chin. Tsai Chin, born on November 30, 1933, in Tianjin, China, is renowned for her role as Ling in the James Bond film You Only Live Twice, 1967. As Ling, Tsai Chin captivated audiences with her exotic beauty and enigmatic presence. Her portrayal, though brief, left a significant impression, adding a touch of cultural diversity and sophistication to the Bond series. Before her Bond role, Tsai Chin had already established herself as a prominent actress in both Chinese and Western cinema. She starred in the critically acclaimed film The World of Susie Wong, 1960, and had a notable presence in theater, particularly with her role in the London production of The World of Susie Wong. Tsai Chin's career spans several decades, during which she has taken on a variety of roles in film, television, and stage productions. In addition to her acting career, Tsai Chin is also a respected author and teacher, having written a memoir titled Daughter of Shanghai and taught at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in London. Now 90 years old, Tsai Chin continues to be celebrated for her contributions to the arts. Her legacy as Ling in the Bond franchise, along with her extensive and varied career, highlights her remarkable talent and enduring influence in the entertainment industry. Maud Adams Maud Adams, born on February 12, 1945, in Luleå, Sweden, is best known for her unique distinction of portraying two different Bond girls in the James Bond franchise. 
She first appeared as Andrea Anders in The Man with the Golden Gun, 1974, and later as the titular character in Octopussy, 1983. In The Man with the Golden Gun, Adams played the ill-fated mistress of the villain Scaramanga, bringing a mix of vulnerability and sophistication to the role. As Octopussy, she portrayed a strong, independent woman running a complex smuggling operation, showcasing her versatility and strong screen presence. Before her Bond fame, Adams began her career as a model, which led to acting opportunities in Swedish and American films. Her performance in Octopussy particularly stands out, as she embodied a character who was both a formidable leader and a nuanced individual with depth and complexity. This role solidified her status as one of the most memorable Bond girls in the franchise's history. Outside of her Bond roles, Maude Adams has had a successful career in film and television, appearing in movies such as Rollerball in 1975 and Tattoo 1981. She has also been involved in various charitable activities and continues to be a beloved figure in the Bond fan community. Presently 79 years old, Maude Adams remains an iconic actress, celebrated for her contributions to the James Bond series and her lasting impact on cinema. Gloria Hendry Gloria Hendry, born on March 3, 1949 in Winter Haven, Florida, is best known for her groundbreaking role as Rosie Carver in the James Bond film Live and Let Die, 1973. As Rosie Carver, Hendry made history as the first African-American Bond girl, bringing a significant and much-needed element of diversity to the franchise. Her character, a CIA agent who becomes romantically involved with James Bond, was both strong and complex, adding depth to the film's narrative. Before her role in Live and Let Die, Gloria Hendry had already made a name for herself in the film industry with roles in popular black exploitation films such as Black Caesar, 1973, and Slaughter's Big Ripoff, 1973. Her work in these films showcased her talent and versatility, helping her to become a prominent figure in the 1970s cinema. Following her success in the Bond film, Hendry continued to act in a variety of films and television shows, further establishing her career. She has also been an advocate for diversity in Hollywood and has participated in various film festivals and retrospectives celebrating her contributions to cinema. Now at 75 years old, Gloria Hendry remains a trailblazer and an influential figure. Remembered not only for her role as Rosie Carver, but also for her broader impact on the entertainment industry. Trina Parks Trina Parks, born on December 26, 1946, in Brooklyn, New York, is renowned for her role as Thumper in the James Bond film Diamonds Are Forever, 1971. As Thumper, Parks played a formidable and physically skilled antagonist, making history as the first African-American woman to portray a villain in the Bond series. Her performance, marked by a dynamic fight scene with Sean Connery's James Bond, left a lasting impression and showcased her athleticism and screen presence. Before her Bond role, Trina Parks was already an accomplished dancer and actress, performing in various stage productions and musicals. Her background in dance brought a unique physicality to her role in Diamonds Are Forever, making her one of the most memorable characters in the film. Parks continued to work in the entertainment industry, appearing in films such as The Mothers, 1976, and Darktown Strutters, 1975. In addition to her acting career, Trina Parks has remained active in the performing arts as a dance instructor and choreographer, sharing her expertise and inspiring new generations of performers. Today, 77 years old, Parks is celebrated not only for her role as Thumper, but also for her contributions to dance and her pioneering presence in Hollywood. Her legacy continues to influence and inspire, highlighting her enduring impact on both cinema and the performing arts. Eva Green Eva Green, born on July 6, 1980, in Paris, France, is best known for her role as Vesper Lind in the James Bond film 
Casino Royale, 2006. As Vesper Lind, Green brought a mix of intelligence, vulnerability, and sophistication to the screen, redefining the role of the Bond girl for a new generation. Her portrayal of Vesper, who becomes James Bond's love interest and later reveals a deep betrayal, added emotional depth and complexity to the film, making her one of the most memorable Bond girls in the franchise's history. Before her iconic role in Casino Royale, Eva Green had already garnered critical acclaim for her performance in Bernardo Bertolucci's The Dreamers, 2003. Her career continued to flourish after Bond with notable roles in films such as Kingdom of Heaven, 2005, Dark Shadows, 2012, and Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, 2016. Green's versatility and striking screen presence have made her a sought-after actress in both European and Hollywood cinema. Green also starred in the television series Penny Dreadful, 2014-2016, where she received widespread acclaim for her portrayal of Vanessa Ives. This role earned her a loyal fan base and further solidified her status as a talented and versatile actress. Now 44 years old, Eva Green continues to captivate audiences with her performances, remaining a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. Halle Berry Halle Berry, born on August 14, 1966 in Cleveland, Ohio, is best known for her role as Jinx Johnson in the James Bond film Die Another Day, 2002. As Jinx, Barry brought a blend of toughness, sex appeal, and wit to the screen, making her one of the most iconic Bond girls of the 2000s. Her performance, especially the homage to Ursula Andress's famous bikini scene from Dr. No, cemented her place in Bond history. Before her role in Die Another Day, Halle Berry had already established herself as a major Hollywood star, winning an Academy Award for Best Actress for her role in Monsters Ball, 2001. Her career includes a wide range of notable films, such as X-Men, 2000, Swordfish, 2001, and Gothica, 2003. Berry's versatility as an actress has allowed her to excel in various genres, from action and drama to science fiction. Barry has also been involved in numerous philanthropic endeavors, particularly advocating for children's and women's rights. She has worked as a producer, further expanding her influence in the industry. Now at 58 years old, Halle Berry remains a prominent and influential figure in Hollywood, celebrated for her groundbreaking achievements and contributions to cinema. Her role as Jinx Johnson continues to be remembered as a highlight in the James Bond series, showcasing her enduring impact on the franchise. Sophie Marceau Sophie Marceau, born on November 17, 1966, in Paris, France, is best known for her role as Electra King in the James Bond film The World Is Not Enough, 1999. As Electra King, Marceau portrayed a complex and enigmatic character, blending vulnerability with cunning intelligence. Her performance brought a new depth to the Bond series, making Elektra one of the most memorable and multi-dimensional Bond girls. Before joining the Bond franchise, Sophie Marceau had already achieved significant success in European cinema. She gained early fame with her role in the coming-of-age film La Boom, 1980, and its sequel La Boom 2, 1982. Marceau continued to build her career with critically acclaimed performances in films such as Braveheart, 1995, and Firelight, 1997, showcasing her versatility and talent as an actress. Marceau has also directed several films, further demonstrating her multifaceted abilities in the film industry. Currently 57 years old, she continues to be a prominent figure in cinema, celebrated for her contributions both in front of and behind the camera. Her portrayal of Electra King remains a standout performance in the James Bond series, highlighting her ability to bring depth and nuance to complex characters. Rosamund Pike Rosamund Pike, born on January 27, 1979, in London, England, 
is best known for her role as Miranda Frost in the James Bond film Die Another Day, 2002. As Miranda Frost, Pike played a duplicitous MI6 agent with a cold and calculating demeanor, delivering a performance that left a lasting impression on audiences. Her portrayal of the icy and treacherous Frost added a layer of intrigue and sophistication to the film. Before her role in Die Another Day, Rosamund Pike had already established herself in the theater, performing in numerous stage productions. Her transition to film brought her widespread recognition, and she continued to build a successful career with roles in movies such as Pride and Prejudice, 2005, and Education, 2009, and Jack Reacher, 2012. Pike's breakout role came with the critically acclaimed thriller Gone Girl, 2014, where she earned an Academy Award nomination for her chilling performance as Amy Dunn. Pike has also starred in television series such as State of the Union, 2019, and The Wheel of Time, 2021. Her ability to excel in both dramatic and action roles has made her one of the most versatile actresses of her generation. At 45 years old, Rosamund Pike continues to captivate audiences with her performances, cementing her legacy as a talented and dynamic actress. Her role as Miranda Frost in the Bond series remains a notable highlight in her impressive career. Denise Richards Denise Richards, born on February 17, 1971, in Downers Grove, Illinois, is best known for her role as Dr. Christmas Jones in the James Bond film The World Is Not Enough, 1999. As Dr. Christmas Jones, a nuclear physicist, Richards brought a blend of intelligence and allure to the screen, adding a modern twist to the traditional Bond girl archetype. Her performance, though met with mixed reviews, remains a memorable part of the Bond franchise due to her unique character and iconic name. Before her Bond role, Denise Richards had already gained attention with standout performances in films such as Starship Troopers, 1997, and Wild Things, 1998. Her roles in these films showcased her ability to handle both action-packed and dramatic scenes, establishing her as a versatile actress in Hollywood. Richard's striking looks and on-screen presence made her a popular figure in the late 1990s and early 2000s. Richards has also made a successful transition to television, appearing in shows like Spin City, Two and a Half Men, and reality series The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. In addition to her acting career, she is known for her philanthropic efforts, particularly in animal welfare and children's charities. Now 53 years old, Denise Richards continues to work in the entertainment industry, with her role as Dr. Christmas Jones remaining a notable part of her diverse career. Michelle Yeoh Michelle Yeoh, born on August 6, 1962, in Ipoh, Malaysia, is acclaimed for her role as Y. Lin in the James Bond film Tomorrow Never Dies, 1997. As Y. Lin, Yeo portrayed a Chinese secret agent who partners with James Bond, showcasing her exceptional martial arts skills and strong screen presence. Her performance brought a refreshing blend of strength, intelligence, and independence to the Bond girl role, making Y. Lin one of the most memorable and capable characters in the franchise. Before joining the Bond series, Michelle Yeoh was already a celebrated actress and martial artist in Hong Kong cinema. She gained international fame with her roles in action films such as Police Story 3 Super Cop, 1992, and The Heroic Trio, 1993. Yeoh's ability to perform her own stunts and her charismatic presence made her a standout star in the action genre. Yo's career continued to thrive, with critically acclaimed performances in films like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, 2000, which earned her a BAFTA nomination, and Memoirs of a Geisha, 2005. She has also made significant contributions to television, starring in the series Star Trek Discovery and The Witcher Blood Origin. Beyond her acting career, Yo is an advocate for various humanitarian causes, including road safety and women's rights. Presently 62 years old, 
Michelle Yeoh remains an influential and beloved figure in both Eastern and Western cinema, with her role as Y. Lin marking a significant highlight in her illustrious career. Barbara Bach Barbara Bach, born on August 27, 1946, in Queens, New York, is best known for her role as Anya Amasova in the James Bond film The Spy Who Loved Me, 1977. As Major Anya Amasova, also known as Agent Triple X, Bach portrayed a highly skilled and intelligent Soviet spy who partners with James Bond to stop a global threat. Her performance brought a sense of equality and camaraderie to the Bond girl role, breaking new ground by presenting her character as Bond's professional equal. Before her role in The Spy Who Loved Me, Barbara Bach had already established a successful career as a model and actress in Europe. She appeared in several Italian films, including Black Belly of the Tarantula, 1971, and Short Night of Glass Dolls, 1971, which showcased her acting versatility. Her striking looks and commanding screen presence made her a natural fit for the glamorous world of James Bond. Following her Bond role, Bach continued to act in films and television but eventually stepped away from the limelight. She married Ringo Starr of the Beatles in 1981, and the couple has been involved in various philanthropic activities together. Today, 77 years old, Barbara Bach remains a beloved figure in the Bond fan community, with her role as Anya Amasova celebrated for its groundbreaking portrayal of a strong, independent female spy. Carrie Lowell Carrie Lowell, born on February 11, 1961, in Huntington, New York, is best known for her role as Pam Bouvier in the James Bond film License to Kill, 1989. As Pam Bouvier, a CIA informant and pilot, Lowell brought a mix of toughness, intelligence, and charm to the screen. Her character, who aids James Bond in his quest for revenge, was praised for her resourcefulness and bravery, making her one of the more modern and assertive Bond girls. Before joining the Bond franchise, Carrie Lowell started her career as a successful model, working for prominent fashion brands such as Ralph Lauren and Calvin Klein. Transitioning to acting, she appeared in films like Dangerously Close, 1986, and Down Twisted, 1987, showcasing her acting abilities and on-screen charisma. Following her role in License to Kill, Lowell continued to act in both film and television, with notable roles in the TV series Law and Order, where she played assistant district attorney Jamie Ross. Her performance on the show earned her widespread recognition and acclaim. Lowell also took a break from acting to focus on her family and pursue a degree in documentary filmmaking. Currently 63 years old, Carrie Lowell remains respected in the industry for her contributions to film and television. Her portrayal of Pam Bouvier in License to Kill is remembered as a standout performance that helped redefine the role of the Bond girl for a new era. Mariam Dabo Mariam Dabo, born on December 27, 1960 in London, England, is best known for her role as Kara Milovi in the James Bond film The Living Daylights, 1987. As Kara Milovi, Dabo portrayed a Czech cellist who becomes entangled in a complex plot involving James Bond. Her performance brought a sense of innocence and emotional depth to the character, distinguishing Kara as one of the more heartfelt and relatable Bond girls. Before her iconic role in The Living Daylights, Mariam Debo had already started to build a career in film and television. She appeared in films such as Extro, 1982, and Until September, 1984, showcasing her acting versatility. Her role as Kara Malovi, however, remains the highlight of her career, earning her international recognition and acclaim. After her Bond role, Diabo continued to work in the entertainment industry, both as an actress and a producer. She co-authored and co-produced the documentary Bond Girls Are Forever, 2002, which explores the legacy and impact of Bond girls over the years. Today, 63 years old, Mariam Debo is remembered fondly for her contribution to the Bond franchise, 
with her portrayal of Kara Malovi celebrated for its warmth and authenticity. Isabella Skorupko Isabella Skorupko, born on June 4, 1970 in Białystok, Poland, is best known for her role as Natalia Simonova in the James Bond film Goldeneye, 1995. As Natalia Simonova, Skorupko played a brilliant computer programmer who becomes a key ally to James Bond in his mission to stop a deadly satellite weapon. Her performance, characterized by intelligence, bravery, and a strong moral compass, added depth and modernity to the Bond girl role. Before her breakout role in GoldenEye, Isabella Skorupko had a successful career in modeling and music, gaining popularity in Sweden with her debut album Isa in 1991. Transitioning to acting, she brought a unique combination of beauty and talent to her performances, making her a standout choice for the Bond franchise. Following GoldenEye, Skorupko continued to build a diverse acting career with roles in films such as Vertical Limit, 2000, and Reign of Fire, 2002. Her work in both Hollywood and European cinema has showcased her versatility and enduring appeal as an actress. Now 53 years old, Isabella Skorupko remains a respected figure in the entertainment industry, with her role as Natalia Simonova celebrated as one of the defining performances in the Bond series. Thank you all for being among those who stayed till the end of the video. Comment too so we can see you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Famous People channel for more insightful content. We appreciate your participation and look forward to sharing more engaging stories with you in our upcoming videos. Goodbye.